The objective of this job practice is to make a sound multipath fillet weld in the vertical position with low hydrogen electrodes and uphill travel. This series of topics provides training in fundamental manipulation of the low hydrogen type of electrode in the overhead and vertical positions with multipass applications. The purpose and the care and handling of the low hydrogen electrode will also be explained. The low hydrogen electrode is used by structural steel fabricators, pipe contractors, steel erectors, and in repair welding. Follow the general procedure steps. Use the proper clothing, tools, and eye protection. The materials and power source settings for this exercise are listed in your workbook. Position two plates on the table to form a T-joint and make strong tack welds at each end. Then clamp the workpiece for vertical position welding at about chest height. Position the electrode 45 degrees away from the vertical plate and at a 90 degree angle in the horizontal plane. Travel upwards with an inverted V motion, moving the electrode in a straight line across the joint, moving up slightly for each step and pausing slightly at each toe. Make the bead slightly large, about 3 8 inch wide. Hold a short arc to the point where flux flows freely from the electrode to the work. Pinholes and narrow convex beads result from too long an arc length, traveling too fast or too low a welding current. Use of the inverted V-weave motion between two and two and a half diameters wide will help you read the penetration pattern, even though slag concentration may be heavy. Pause on each side of the bead center line just long enough for the slag to run off, making a slightly convex face. Note the size of the slag crown while welding. Its height will help you determine the size of the deposited bead. If the weld bead is too small, then decrease the travel speed for the second bead to allow more convexity. Increase the travel speed if the bead is too convex. Allow the workpiece to cool, then clean off the slag. For the second bead, keep the electrode horizontal and angle it 35 to 40 degrees away from the left leg of the fillet. Center the electrode tip over the right toe of the first bead and travel upwards with a steady back and forth motion. If the weld puddle is hard to control due to sagging, use a slight crescent motion or weaving motion. The second weld bead should overlap two thirds of the first bead. Deposit the third weld bead using the same technique as used for the second bead. The electrode is angled 35 degrees from the right leg of the fillet. When you are welding this workpiece, be sure to alternate sides for each bead to keep the heat and distortion forces equal. For additional practice, Weld the five plate assembly as outlined in previous T-joint practices and then call your instructor to inspect the welds.